So this is a simple circuit where we have two LEDs and a push button switch. Uh, here the resistor here is connected to the GPIO 17 or pin uh, 0 and then the yellow LED has the negative lead connected to that resistor and the positive lead connected to the 3.3 volt uh, output from the uh, Raspberry Pi. And then the red LED has the positive lead connected to the resistor, so opposite, and the negative lead connected to the ground on the Raspberry Pi. So that's the output side. On the input side, we have the pin number uh, 18 or GPIO 18 or pin number 1 connected to one side of the toggle button and then we have the other side connected to ground. Now this capacitor here, it's a simple capacitor that I had maybe like 100 microfarads capacitor or maybe 10, I don't know, uh, which I have uh, which I had in hand which is simply there for the single purpose that when you click the switch uh, due to uh, electrical imperfections of the switch there can be more than one pulses generated and since we are listening for the falling edge we want to have exactly one pulse for the uh, out from the output of clicking the switch once so we use a capacitor to smooth out the unnecessary uh, pulses so that's the basic circuit and then what it does is I have a program running on the Raspberry Pi which when I click the switch it toggles the state of the LED. So once now the yellow LED is lit and the red LED is off again it toggles it. So that's essentially what this program does. Now if you look at the program I have first a toggle function which essentially flips the state of the LED. I have also a toggle count which counts how many times, how many impulses we received from the, rasp uh, from the toggle switch. And then in main, I first set up wiring pi. Uh, I mark the LED pin as output. I don't need to mark the uh, pin 18 or uh, a, a GPIO 18 or pin 1 as input since wiring pi ISR already does that. And so I'm registering the toggle function up here as a uh, interrupt handler for the uh, for a falling edge detected on the uh, GPIO 18 pin. And so when I press the toggle button, the toggle routine gets called and it identifies what state the LED is and it just flips it. There is your simple interrupt handling on the Raspberry Pi. Thank you for watching.